Happy Sabbath Church. Happy day. Before we start, let us bow our for the word of prayer. Our kind and everlasting master, as we start the children's story, let us keep it into our mind. Let us do it into practice. For what I have prayed for, may we intercede it in just name of prayed. The topic of the today is God is beside me. The memory verse comes from the book of Psalms chapter 55, verses 22. Jeremy, I welcome you to read for us. It says, leave your troubles with the Lord, and he will defend you. He never lets honest people be defeated. Amen? Amen. As we have said, it comes from the book of Psalms, chapter 55, verses 22, and the Bible says, cast thy burden upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the right just to be moved. The story talks about Donna and his guardian angel. It was a dark night at springtime when Donna was tucked in bed after family devotion. Then ma mother closed the window because it was cold. A few hours later, mother lit the fire. Hours later, Donna was fast asleep. She could sleep the whole night. Some hours later, past midnight, she woke up choking and coughing. She looked around and saw a, a red glow at the kitchen. She wondered. She thought that it was a dream, but the red glow came closer and closer. The fire was too hot. As she screamed, Mother, Mother, please get me out. She heard Father talking to Mother. I can't get through. The fire is too strong. She looked around and saw the fire had gotten closer and closer. So she, she looked around and said, this shall not ever happen to me. She tried to bang the window. Nothing would have happened. She banged the window pane. Nothing happened. She was told, jump, 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 Donna. But she couldn't jump. The window was still there. She looked around and found the bedside lamp. She took it and hit the window. As she prayed, Please help me, dear Jesus, please. She banged the window until it broke. She jumped into mother's arms. People were wondering, why wasn't she cut? They thought and thought, nothing happened. As people were wondering, she sang along. Jesus sent his angels, angels, angels. Jesus sent his angels to watch me when I'm praying. Jesus sent his angels, angels, angels. Jesus sent his angels to watch me when I'm sleeping. As people were wondering, she, she looked around at those people. As she was being taken to the hospital by mother and father, they were singing along. He lives, he lives, Christ Jesus lives today. He walks with me and talks with me all on the narrow way. He lives.
As she reached the hospital, she was helped and she was treated on the burnt wounds. Amen. Amen. In this story, children, what do we learn? Apart from Jeremy, Children, why weren't you concentrating? <laughs> In this story, we learn that wherever you are, God takes care of you. Parents, we have a question for you. If it, were, if it would have happened to your family, what would have you done? Thank you. She has said, she could have prayed to Jesus. What about a man? <laughs> oh, now it's only women these days. <laughs> As we finish, let us buy us for the word of prayer. Our kind and everlasting master, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your love and protection. As we have finished our children's story, let us keep it into practice. Oh God, bless us and guide us, intercede it for us in Jesus' name of prayer. Happy Sabbath. Happy day. My name is Rebecca Amani and I have a song. Jesus, son of God, was born in Bethlehem. Jesus, son of God, was born in Bethlehem. Jesus, son of God, was born in Bethlehem. Hallelujah. Bethlehem. He was born, was born, was born in Bethlehem. He was born, was born, was born in Bethlehem. Hallelujah. Amen. Three wise men gifted baby Jesus. Three wise men gifted baby Jesus. Three Hallelujah.